pitchfork, what is this? Your pitchfork, what is this? Your pitchfork, what is this? Why did you rate Mr. Moreau and Mr. Morrow and the Big Steppers only at 7.6 out of 10? Are you niggas serious? Did you guys listen to that album? Did you guys actually listen to that album fully? Did y'all listen to it? I don't think these guys listen to it properly. What's going on? A 7.6 out of 10? Bro, you can't rate this album anything less than a 9 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, are you serious? Man, I don't know. These guys did not listen to the album. They didn't. For an album like this, you have to fully digest it. You have to listen to it like at least 10 times to understand, unpackage what Kendrick Lamar is trying to say about the album. Because just like one listen is not going to give you the full like scope of the album. You need at least 10, 10 listens to unpackage what Kendrick Lamar is trying to say in this. This is a very emotional album for Kendrick Lamar. We get to dive deep. We get a 4K scope dive into Kendrick Lamar's psyche where he tells us what he's going through. He tells us, he shows us that he's human just like all of us. He's not a king that people praise him to be. He's not this savior, which is why you get a song like Savior, where he talks about he can't save everyone because he's going through the same struggles we are. I'm telling you, the, the amount of depth and layer, layer, layers in this album is ridiculous. Like, y'all niggas is not, you guys did not listen to this properly. And if you just look at a song like We Cry Together, how... You listen to We Cry Together and not automatically give this a 10 out of 10. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Have you heard a song like We Cry Together? When you have tracks like We Cry Together, Auntie's Diaries, Mother I'm Sober, um, Father Time, like Mr. Morale, Worldwide Step. It's like you have like 10 out of 10 songs back to back to back. And you're telling me it's only a 7.6 out of 10? No, no, Pitchfork, no, Pitchfork, no, Pitchfork, no. You're wrong, you're wrong. Pitchfork, you're wrong. Listen to it again. You guys, no, 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 no. Listen to this album again. You need to fully unpackage the album, like for real. Y'all niggas didn't listen to it properly. Go listen to it properly, please. Man, Pitchfork are out of touch, man. These niggas are out of touch. I knew Pitchfork was out of touch the day they gave Rodeo a 6 out of 10. Do you know Pitchfork literally gave Rodeo a 6? Pitchfork literally gave Rodeo a classic Rodeo. We were talking about Travis Scott here. Rodeo the classic a 6 out of 10. That's when you, as soon as I saw Pitchfork give Rodeo a 6 out of 10, I knew these niggas were out of touch. Man, damn, Pitchfork, listen to the album again, please. Y'all niggas only listen to it once, I guarantee it. You need to listen to it, this album at least 10 or 20 times to fully understand what Kendrick Lamar is doing in this album. There's too much depth and layers to this album to only give it a 7.6 out of 10. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What y'all niggas do? This is one of the best albums in hip hop history. I'm telling you this now. I'm telling you this now. Pitchfork. Pitchfork. Re review this, please.